It's an interesting position, that uh, close catcher at short mid wicket. That's a wide. Well, uh, it's wide. It's a wide, and Vittorio will have to bowl it again. But I tell you what, Kepler, he'll be huh? smiling about the amount of movement through the air. Well, he should be. He should be very happy. Oh, well, he was almost brought into action immediately there, Ray Price at uh, short mid wicket. Talking of movement, there was uh, something going on behind the bowler's arm, and that was the reason for the delay before that delivery. But uh, that almost paid uh, dividends. I presume that uh, he's in there at short mid wicket as a result of a little bit of uh, analysis of Mohamed Hafiz's game. The technical staff would have uh, been going through, though they've seen enough of him on this tour, haven't they? Well, it's definitely not a bad position to have with the ball swinging the way it is, and maybe if he had somebody slightly quicker in the reaction department than Ray Price, that might have been an opportunity. But uh, you still, you can have that feel there, and you can have a second slip as well. That's very well played, if uh, a little risky. Oh dear, no, that's poor. That uh, is very disappointing from Malcolm Wallow. He's the best fielder in the team, and uh, he's made a complete hash of that. I don't even think that uh, the dive and the flick back was really necessary. I think he could have just run round on that, picked it up with two hands, and uh, fielded it in the conventional way. Well, it's a very good shot because the ball did swing, and Imran Fahad played it nice and late, and the ball went square. But that was quite an easy stop for a fielder of the calibre of Malcolm Wallace. So he's disappointed with that. Zimbabwe being the kind of country that it is. Oh, that's uh, a fiery, very fine shot. Two full long half volley from uh, Jarvis. But um, back to uh, Zimbabwe and Zimbabwe cricket. Doesn't, uh, doesn't tolerate weakness. And uh, Jarvis was complaining of uh, this pain and was told to bowl through it, get on with it. And uh, eventually... Uh, off for a scan which uh, revealed a stress fracture of the back. Exactly what I'm talking about, that short and wide. So now this is this is a little bit the problem with the rotation approach as far as selection is concerned. The narrower the gap between any two teams. So they'll be hoping that uh, they'll be. Oh, that's a poor delivery from Vittori. Fine leg up in the circle. And uh, this is starting to look, uh, starting to look uh, <laughs> very shaky for Zimbabwe. So much uh, hope and I suppose expectation from uh, Vittori and, and Jarvis, but uh, two very young men. True enough, but. You know, when it's swinging, that's your day, so your skill level has to be good enough to utilize the swing, particularly at international level. Well, it's dreadful stuff this morning. It has to be said, I'm afraid, there's just no consistency as far as line is concerned and as far as length is concerned. The problem is that the batsmen are scoring on both sides of the wicket, so that gives the captain no chance whatsoever to set a field. So we come back to the fact when you win the toss and the ball swinging, you've got to be consistent in the areas that you bowl. But uh, you can just see that um, they're rushing it, they're all over the place, and not settling into a pattern. Does improve. There's not a great deal that he can do though. I'm stuck in the change room. He's got to just uh, allow his bowlers to get on with it, and that's four more. This could be very messy indeed for Zimbabwe. They've got to... Uh, well, that, someone's got to metaphorically put their foot on the ball, and, and <laughs> metaphorically, that is. <laughs> it's a soccer terminology, not, <laughs> not a cricket one. But just slow things down. Get everyone to take a, a deep breath, and I, I suppose the obvious thing to do is make a bowling change. He's definitely slowed down, that's true. Maybe Brendan Taylor must come out of slip, get someone else in there, get next to the bowler and just um, talk to them and try and settle them down, settle the whole thing down. In the air and it's, well, going to go off to the boundary again. It was wide, it was full, 
and it was there for Imran Farhat to throw his bat at it and that's exactly what he did well Carl Jarvis likes to try and swing the ball back into the left-handers but this one's a little bit too wide it hasn't swung back allowed the batsman to free his arms and Imran Farhat has flayed it away to the boundary to break the shackles that they built up over the last couple of overs maybe no ball called we'll have to bowl that one again it's a free hit as well there you go first of the series. it's the first free hit of the series well can't change the field that's the same a batsman on strike oh hold on have a look at that again it's looked a bit harsh really I know it's little centimeters that we're talking about but as long as something's behind that line it's well struck fantastic work by Hamilton Masakadza third man There's a man out there, he's hit it straight to him. Simple catch. Simple catch straight to the man. Almost as if he didn't realize he was there. Mohammed Hafiz has got to make his way back to the change room. Vittori gets wicket number one. Well, we talked about the plan and it didn't look like it was going to work. And it would take Mohammed Hafiz to actually give his wicket away. And he's lobbed it out to Malcolm Waller, the easiest of catches. And the only way he possibly looked like he could get out, he's found it. Mohammed Afiz goes for 23, Pakistan 45 for 1. Thundering runs on this tour of Zimbabwe. And in comes Asad Shafiq, 25 years old, talented. Got to get your footwork exactly right when you're looking to play to a seeming ball. He's found the gap this time. The ball's still uh, reasonably new, so it's hard enough and uh, that'll get to the boundary not uh, very well timed but good enough but beautifully placed he had to beat hold of fielders on the offside and find that minute gap which he did in the end trying to hit it hard but obviously didn't come off the middle of the bat but still good enough the beauty about the drive was the gap that he found yeah just broke his wrist at the last minute and that uh, got it through the gap 22 of 24 balls 228 is the average first innings total uh, I think that's going to be hopelessly short we saw that on Sunday, it wasn't even close oh, pull shot, he's uh, got it in the gap not the uh, best shot where he wanted to hit it but a good result as long as the boundaries are coming off the middle of the bat it doesn't matter because that looked just a little bit agricultural in style and got it off the toe end of the bat but bats these days are so good that you don't really have to middle the ball to fetch your four oh! we said that Zimbabwe weren't getting the balls in the right areas they're not helping themselves either we've seen one no ball free hit which uh, Jarvis got away with and he has another one for Tory umpire Gould is just gonna go and show him and uh, I think overstepping the line he goes very wide on his delivery yeah just over umpire Gould not letting him off his uh, run up in action doesn't look that much natural when he's bowling around the wicket looks more at ease when he's bowling over the wicket so stretching himself there and a great opportunity now for us at Shafiq to get off the mark we didn't uh, struggle with that it was length from Vittori and a good shot four more to Pakistan see this pattern is becoming just a little bit predictable from uh, from the bowler because the batsman had already eyed that mid wicket range just went with the angle the execution was good enough and he's off the mark with this mighty blow off a no ball of a free hit Rami surely bowling around the wicket all he's doing is getting that angle into the right-hander oh that's in the air he's timed it well 
and uh, that should run away for four as well there's a man catching on the leg side but uh, unable to get anything close to catching that and uh, vittori has gone for another boundary Zimbabweans, I think, uh, have not studied the strengths of this batsman. He's so good through that area. Anything on that middle and leg stump range goes through uh, straightish mid on to square leg boundary. He's very, very bottom handed player. Uh, so Shafiq likes them in that area. And so far, so good. Two boundaries hit in this over. Edge slip has been taken out third man would be too wide to cut that off and uh, Jarvis can only uh, be annoyed but, uh, that's the pressure Pakistan have put on they've forced that fielding change yes no slip in place because uh, Pakistan started off aggressively and Zimbabweans have been on the defensive The man in the deep was too deep and uh, far away from stopping this one going across to the boundary. Up in the air, oh, just wide of uh, the fieldsman. It's Hamilton Masakadza at mid off. So a few dot deliveries and trying to play the expansive shot. Imran Fahad just to lose the man at mid off and they get a boundary. Yeah, just a little bit of frustration creeping in there. There was no real need to do that. The run rate is fine, but having a full go at that and. Uh, well, Alton Chikumbura could, could probably count himself a little unlucky, but uh, at the end, it's four more runs to the Pakistani total.